Hogan. Robert Wall from Artist. From whose line is it anyway? Wayne Brady. Shawnee Smith from Becker. Mad TV's Will Chasso. For your love, Dee Dee Piper. Writer comedian Bruce Valanche. And starring Whoopi Goldberg. With Tom Bergeron, your host. All on Hollywood Squares. And here's Tom Bergeron. Welcome. Welcome to Hollywood Squares. You know, if, if, if anybody had ever told me that someday I'm going to come into work and see Celine Dion on Bruce Valanche's chest, I never would have believed it. <laughs> never would have believed it. What are you? You doing that? Here. Yeah, car. <laughs> I worry she's going to break a rib when she does that. It got crumbled. That'll the be heart it. would I go know. on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's welcome our gang and on. Hello, stars. Hello. <laughs> Fred Pinto is uh, back as our champion. Yesterday, he won $10,198 in cash and prizes. Fred, day two, here to defend your championship. Tell us a bit more about yourself. Well, I uh, live in Santa Monica, California, where I like to play beach volleyball, and I work in his advertising, in advertising as an account executive. Now, was that hoot for the advertising or the beach volleyball? Somebody's very excited about one aspect of your bio. Here to try to take the championship from you is Tracy Obering. Did I pronounce that right? Yes. Thank you so much, Tracy. And tell us a bit about yourself, won't you? Hi, I'm a core reporter, and I live in Baltimore, Maryland, with my husband, Chris, and our adorable son, Alec. All right. Good luck to both of you. In order to win, you got to get three of our stars in a row, have to decide if the answers are giving are correct or not. That's how you get the squares. First game worth $1,000, and Tracy, you get to start. I'll pick Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg. All right, Whoopi. Whoopi. All right. Cleansing breath. Here we go. Come on, Whoopi. Whoopi. Don't be nervous, Tracy. Don't be nervous at all. I'm very easy to get along with. Okay. <laughs> Most people don't know they don't get to talk to me the way we are talking now. <laughs> No, they so, don't. No, they don't. No. Are you making fun of me? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting to know you the way you are talking now. Please, I'll come and hit you on your chest. Wow. <laughs> yes, Tom. I'm sorry, I was having fantasies of a French maid there for a second. <laughs> well, uh, thank you. One way to tell an alligator from a crocodile is through differences in their anatomy. Uh, what's broad and rounded on an alligator, but long and slender on a croc? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're waiting for me to go somewhere I cannot go. Oh, you know. <laughs> you want me to say one's behind is bigger than the other. But that is a natural joke. <laughs> that is not a joke I will make. I will try to be serious now, because the joke is in what I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> I would say the mouth. The mouth part, the mouth, where the fangs the fangs are. I'll agree. Yeah, the mouth, the snout, right, Skippy? That's the mouth. That's the mouth. Yes. Yes. One, one cross mouth is another one's snout. All right, Fred. Robert Wall, please. Robert Wall from Arles. On HBO. Robert. Tutta familia. Tutta familia. Tutta familia. Robert, you're listening to the ball game on the radio. You hear the announcer describe something as a can of corn. What, what does he mean? He's hungry. Yeah, I guess so. Um, okay. <laughs> You, That's so funny. Do you, you want me to go with the snout joke? Is that what you want me to do? The, um, uh, it means there's a, a high fly ball. I agree. Yeah, or a ball that's easy to catch. You happy with that, Skippy? Yep. Okay, you're easy today. Yes, X gets the square. Okay, Trace. Bruce Valanche. Bruce Valanche, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, killer day. I know, really. How killer. does that little woman do it? Polish scientist Copernicus discovered that the center of the universe, Bruce, is not what? Oxnard. <laughs> <laughs> or the square to the left of me. <laughs> oh! 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 Getting touchy because now it's Thursday and you're wearing Celine. <laughs> okay, go I'm, on. I'm international. <laughs> uh, Copernicus, the Polish scientist, yeah. yes. uh, discovered the center of the universe was not Earth, which was, it was thought to be at the time. I'll agree. That's right, it wasn't Earth. Circle gets the square. <laughs> Our 
Our squares are getting a little testy today, aren't they, Fred? A little bit. Dee Pfeiffer for the block. Dee Dee Pfeiffer from Four Year Love. Tomorrow night on the WB. Dee Dee, in an interview, Ray Walston of my favorite Martian fame said that they got animals to appear to talk to the Martian by doing what? I actually think they probably put something sweet in the actor's ears. I disagree. They put something sweet in the ear. Yes, they really? did. All right, we can't give you that one, Tracy. You have to earn it yourself. I'll take Dee Dee Pfeiffer for the win, please. I thought you might. All right, Dee Dee, back at you. Germans have lost their title as the biggest per capita beer guzzlers. Who took over from the Germans? <laughs> the cast for your love? No, um... <laughs> I'd say... <laughs> Don't be afraid of the joke. <laughs> the U.S. I'll agree. Czechs. The Czechs took over from the Germans. Czech? Yes, X gets wow. the square. Czech? The oh, Czechs. Who would get that? Okay, no. friend. Will Sasso for the Will win, Sasso please. Will Sasso from Mad TV. On Fox. <laughs> well, in... In classic Greek drama, a group of men in unison set the scene, make comments on the action, and even judge the players. These men are called what? Uh, well, we all know this. It's the chorus. I agree. The Greek chorus. Yes, X gets the square and the win for $1,000. While you watch a commercial word, we're all going to learn how to embrace the joke. Be one with the joke. We'll be right back. Love the joke. show we're gonna kick off the thousand dollar secret square game if either of you picks a secret square and is correct you're going home with this surf the web with a new computer from Hewlett Packard the HP Pavilion multimedia PC featuring the Intel Celeron processor CD-ROM drive I Omega zip drive 15 inch monitor and Pulse audio stereo speakers from Hewlett Packard Plus, we're adding $1,000 for an internet account, making this package worth $2,200. All right, let's show you folks at home who the secret square is. <clears throat> now you know, defending champion Fred Pinto won the last game. You get to start this one. I'd like Whoopi Goldberg, please. Okay, Whoopi. <clears throat> who were the first people to use paper money? Dick Clark and Mike Wallace. <laughs> 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 Actually, the true answer, Fred, was the Arabs. I agree. No. The no. Chinese. <laughs> Chinese circle. Figures. Gets the square. Thank you. Tracy. Right. I'll take Robert Wool, please. Robert Wool. Okay, Robert. <laughs> Let's see if, see if the helium's made it way up to the third level, too. What is the most popular position chosen with the first pick in the NBA draft? Right? Laker girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that's by the players. Um, yes. Let's see. For the most popular position, that would have to be center. I'll agree. Center, yes. Circle gets the square. All right. Good start. Okay, Fred. Danny Glover for the block. Danny Glover for the block. Yeah, right, Danny. All right. Okay. Get limbered up for this one. Danny, you are uh, you're 1,300 feet below sea level, knee deep in something so salty. So salty, almost nothing can live in it. What are you in? Yeah. <laughs> Movie theater popcorn. <laughs> you know, it's either, I think, I, I'm, I'm thinking, it's either the Great Salt Lake, mm -hmm. one, or the Dead Sea. I'm just saying, any, mini miny mo. Uh, the Dead Sea. I agree. The Dead Sea, yes. X gets the block. All right, Tracy. Wayne Brady. Wayne Brady. <laughs> Whose line is it anyway tonight on a network near you? Wayne, uh, when he shows up, you know the Macy's Day Parade is over, but the holiday season has just begun. Who? Raheem the Kwanzaa Pimp. <laughs> 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 you mean that's not it? I went to school with him. <laughs> no, um, when he shows up, I would say Father Time. 
Uh, I'll disagree. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Uh, Circle gets the square. Raheem and Guns of Pimp. Fred. <laughs> Shawnee Smith for the block. Shawnee Smith from Becker for the block. All right, Shawnee. Beatle Ringo Starr once said, we all have our fans now. Paul got the teenagers. John got the educated ones. George got the mystics. And I got the what? Leftovers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually... My family's from Liverpool, so I know the proper slang word for this. All that was left for Ringo was the grab grannies. The grannies? It's translated as like the older women, the mothers, the grandmothers, the grab grannies. Right. I agree. Can you agree? Yes, that's right. Yes, X gets the square. All right. We have, we have another commercial? Wow, okay. We'll take a commercial break. We'll be right back after this. You're watching Hollywood Squares. After that, join Dick Clark for the $100,000 Pyramid and the $25,000 Pyramid. Stick around. Welcome back. Uh, I think we got a secret square game underway, if memory serves. And Tracy, it's your turn. Andrea Thompson for the win, please. Andrea oh, oh! A win and a computer all goes well. Andrea, according to the New York Times, nine of the ten largest hotels in the world are in this city. New York, Paris, or Las Vegas? Oh, I'd have to say Las Vegas now. I'll agree. Las Vegas, yes, Circle gets the square. We got a tie game, and you also won that uh, Hewlett-Packard computer. Congratulations. All right, let's go right into a $2,000 tiebreaker. And Tracy, you get to start it. Whoopi Goldberg. All right, Whoopi. Yeah, you, you know, you, you were commenting. You're asking me before we came back from the break. We're in a special row. It's a special row. All it? blonde. It's the all blonde uh, row, yes. of course. Yes. <laughs> kind of like a reverse Oreo. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> a reverse Oreo. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. Wonderful. I like that. <laughs> What toy would be sees so much trading that an exchange was formed for it on the internet? I know it's probably those ugly, stinking little, awful cabbage patch antique dolls. The, all the original ones. The original cabbage patch kids. I'll disagree. Beanie Babies. Beanie Babies. Circle gets the square. Beanie Babies. Fred. Robert Wool, please. Robert Wool. All right, Robert. <laughs> That means we got a thing going on. <laughs> All right, Robert, here you go. Which president wanted to make English simpler by sponsoring reforms that declared all words should be spelled phonetically? The Dan Quayle was never president. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, actually, I think this is a trick question because you're saying which president. It's not saying which president of the United States. I'm going to say Gorbachev. I will disagree. Theodore Roosevelt. Oh, yeah, that, he, he was never square. <laughs> yes. Crazy. Bruce Valanche, please. Bruce Valanche. All right, Bruce. Here we go. <laughs> Director Quentin Tarantino once appeared on an episode of The Golden Girls impersonating who? The Arthur. <laughs> they didn't find out for weeks. It was exciting. It was the open-toed sandals that gave away. <laughs> he did an impression of Elvis. I'll agree. Elvis, yeah. Circle gets the square. Fred? Dee Dee Pfeiffer for the block, Dee Dee please. Pfeiffer for the block. All right, Dee Dee. Many people associate the potato with the Irish, but the first one was actually found where? China. I will disagree. America. X gets the square. All right, good tiebreaker underway. Who will win? We'll find out right after this. Stay there. Welcome back. Tracy's trying to snatch the championship away from Fred. We're dead even right now. Go ahead, Trace. Will Sasso for the block, please. All right, Will Sasso from Mad TV. <laughs> well, recently in a town in Germany, Paul McCartney's what was exhibited for the first time? Uh, his Norwegian wood. Good night, everybody! <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> that would be his diaries. I'll agree. His artwork, his paintings. All right, Fred, we can't give you that one. You have to get it yourself. Will Sasso for the win, All please. right, Will, for the win. 
For the first time in TV history, the cost of advertising crossed the $1 million per minute mark during what event? Norwegian Walking Dead, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know. Uh, the Super Bowl. I agree. The Super Bowl. X gets the square and the win. All right, let's go right into a $4,000 game. Fred, you get to start. I'd like to start with Whoopi, please. Okay, Whoopi. <laughs> Who was both the 22nd and the 24th President of the United States? Grover Cleveland. I agree. Yes. Grover Cleveland. Yes, that's right. X gets the square. Easy. 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 Robert Wall, please. Robert Wall. Okay, Robert. Emili <laughs> Emiliano Zapata. Ooh. Emiliano Zapata was a Mexican revolutionary who invaded Mexico City three times and is usually identified by his large, downturned what? <laughs> Kenyatta, no. Um, uh, his uh, nose. I'll agree. Mustache, mustache. Oh, yeah. X gets the square. Oh, All right, Fred. Oh, Danny Glover. Danny Glover for the win. Hey, Danny. A ring. A ring around the moon usually indicates that within 24 hours, something will happen. What? Uh, it's going to rain. I'll agree. Yeah, precipitation. X gets the square. And another four grand. And that means we're plumb out of playing time. Tracy, for a half hour's work, $1,000. Not too bad, huh? Thank Good you. to have you with us. Thank Thanks a lot. Good to meet you. Brad, you've added $7,000 to your championship stash already, and we go right into playing for a bonus prize. Each of our stars has one. They total over $100,000 in things like these. We have a check for $10,000 and an excursion to Australia and New Zealand worth over $10,400. Or, as they say back where I come from, want to win a car? You can win a car. The Chrysler 300M. Descended from the legendary 300 series, it's more than a high-performance sports sedan. It's a car with soul. Chrysler, engineered to be great cars. This sleek new sedan is worth $31,820. All right, pick a star, get the question right. Whoopi, please. What are we playing for, Whoopi? <laughs> We're playing for a trip down under. <laughs> More specifically, Australia and New Zealand, yes. Considered one of the greatest baseball players of all time, who was known as the Sultan of SWAT? The That's Sultan SWAT. Of Roger Gage? Maris, Babe Ruth, or Hank Aaron? So who is the... Oh, say, 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 Hank Aaron. Hi. Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron. <laughs> Hank Hank Aaron, I agree. Ba Babe Ruth, oh, exactly. Ba Babe Ruth. And <laughs> Andrea Thompson uh, had a car in her square. The you know, it's car. interesting. When you started with that voice, I was thinking French maid. Now I'm thinking Dr. Ruth Westheimer. It's come a long way. <laughs> you know, but if you keep giving me sports questions, it's going to go a lot further. <laughs> well, Fred, you got in day two of your championship reign $7,000. Added to what you already won, you got $17,198 in cash and prizes. And you'll be back tomorrow to wrap up the week and continue your reign. We have to see you as well on behalf of all of our high-pitched voice stars. I'm Tom Bergeron. See you next week.